In this video, we examine the role of methionine in cancer progression. As always, these ideas are discussed in more depth in the book Cancer Self-Defense 101 – Quick Tips to Help You Survive. All citations for studies quoted in this video can be found in the book's bibliography at cancerselfdefense101.com. Cancer cells are dependent on methionine. In fact, methionine is used during cancer brain imaging scans because it is taken up at unusually high rates by cancer cells. Methionine is an essential amino acid, meaning that it must come from food. Methionine is involved in the production of glutathione, the body's main antioxidant, but also cancer's main way to keep reactive oxygen species from killing it. Methionine is also involved in methylation, a process crucial to gene expression. The history of methionine depletion in cancer experimentation goes back to 1959, when rats fed a diet lacking in methionine showed a significant reduction in tumor growth. A 1974 study showed that healthy cells cultured in a methionine-free medium survived because they were able to synthesize methionine from supplemental homocysteine in the culture while cancer cells were not and died. Healthy tissues have other ways of synthesizing methionine from various molecules in the body. Cancer does not. Therein lies the unique vulnerability of cancer to methionine depletion. Just like with glucose and glutamine, intratumoral levels of methionine are strongly correlated with tumor volume. Methionine levels show a strong correlation with tumor volume in animal models of pancreatic cancer and melanoma. Red equals mice treated with methioninus to reduce methionine levels. Blue equals untreated controls. One summary found that in 47 different cancer cell lines tested, the absence of methionine killed 30 of them, inhibited 6, and did not kill 11. Methionine restriction also increased the efficacy of radiation and chemotherapy in animal trials. Methionine restriction is also being investigated as a general longevity strategy. In one study, healthy rats fed a diet with 80% less methionine lived 40% longer than rats fed a controlled diet. By now, animal studies showing the cancer survival benefits to dietary methionine restriction are commonplace. There are literally hundreds of them. The human trials on methionine restriction are fewer, but are encouraging. A 12-week phase one trial of a methionine-restricted diet in metastatic cancer patients found the diet not only to be safe, but it also exhibited anti-cancer activity. It lowered the PSA of a metastatic prostate cancer patient 25% and contributed to a radiographic response in a previously refractory renal cell cancer patient. The Phase I trial determined the optimal length of a methionine-restricted diet to be one day, as the majority of methionine blood level decrease was obtained in just a few days. Methionine blood levels dropped dramatically after a few days, then more or less plateau. A Phase II study paired one day of methionine restriction on the day of chemotherapy for four cycles in 22 advanced refractory cancer patients, 20 melanoma, 2 glioma. This limited intervention did not result in any complete or partial responses, but there were two unexpectedly long survivals of over 40 months. They remained alive at the time of publication. A case study found that a three-day methionine-restricted diet improved chemotherapy outcomes in 11 refractory patients with metastatic colorectal cancer. Three patients achieved a partial response, while a fourth achieved stable disease. Several more human trials are summarized in Cancer Self-Defense 101. A convenient way to deplete blood methionine levels has been developed, methionase. Initially, it was administered intravenously, but an oral version has been developed. Both intravenous and oral methioninase have been found to deplete blood methionine levels more than a methionine-restricted diet. Again, no negative side effects have been associated with its administration. 
Unfortunately, methionase, despite being tested in clinical trials for over two and a half decades, is not close to getting FDA approval. Dietary methionine restriction remains the most accessible way to reduce blood methionine levels. BrendaDevisa.com has a lengthy list of foods and their methionine levels. For more information on methionine and methioninase, see the book Cancer Self-Defense 101 Quick Tips to Help You Survive.